Hi guys, it's Alison from A Life Lived and Words and I have got a little unboxing video for you. Um, now I said in my last Paper Gang unboxing, that was my last one, because I cancelled the subscription, but because of the dates that I cancelled it, um, I did end up getting the November box as well, because it had already been charged. So this is my actual last Paper Gang subscription, as I explained in my last video. I just felt that the subscription has gone downhill a lot recently and it is not really worth the money any longer. It's kind of... Sorry, I'm editing videos in the background here. Uh, it is kind of going downhill a little bit. And you're getting more and more of the same products all the time. Uh, last month's had three notebooks in it, basically. So I kind of thought I would just cancel it. But... Let's see what is in the November box. So it's like a kind of leafy thing going on. I'm just doing this with my keyboard. is in a red tissue this time around. Oh, lots of tissue. So we got Autumn Winter is here. What Autumn Winter? Autumn Winter is here. And this is Coppercraft Stone and Botanical. So that is like the things that are going to be hot this season I suppose so as always we get the little month card thing which I never really use but it's in there anyway you could put it in your planner or something then again as usual we have a greeting card this one is a kind of Native American buffalo so that will just pop into my greeting card box I thought for a minute that this was another notebook and I was going to actually have a rage. But it's actually another planner. Um, I say another planner because the September box had a planner in it, but it was undated. This is dated and it's 2017. It's a nice enough. I call it a planner, it's actually just a diary. But it's a kind of botanical with kind of rose gold coppery edge on the papers. I don't think you can see that on camera quite late. It's nice, it's good quality. This is supposed to be worth eleven ninety five. Got lots of blank pages in back. And then just a week on two pages. So that is okay. That's probably going to end up being a gift for someone. And then the last item in box is the blue marble pen, which is supposed to be worth $7.99. It is their own brand, oh dear. And they've got rose gold or well, it's more copper than those gold. I'll do it on it. I don't have to do the white paper. Well, that's a good start. It's black ink. Just an ordinary ballpoint pen, really. It's quite weighty, kinky. I like that. Um, so I quite like the pen and the diary, but again, I feel like it's still a bit seamy. We got a diary already two boxes ago. Um, I know it seems like the right time to send out a diary, but again, I would like to see a little bit more variety in the boxes. There's so many different stationery things that we could include. We could have note cards, we could 
uh, corset piece of stickers, you could have uh, list pads, you could have pencil pens, stationery, so many things, paper clips, and they always seem to revert back to notepads and diaries, so I won't be getting any more for a little while, I'll probably watch some more unboxings and see if they kind of fix it again, but... The one thing I will say is I feel like this box is better quality than last, last month's. We do have a really quite good quality. It's not like it is paper but it feels like canvas. Um, the diary the pen is nice and chunky. Although I'm not quite sure that it goes. But again there's not much in the box. It isn't even the matching wrapping paper this month that we usually have. There's literally, well, four items, but I'll say three because I don't really count this as an item. It's just a piece of cardboard. Um, unless you got the, I didn't get the box, I think it may have been the June or July box that they started these in and there was a little clipboard thing to hold these. But if you didn't get that box then you don't have that to hold these now and you could punch them and put them in your planner I suppose but who knows I just don't really rate them as a thing I don't count them as an item I think they have stopped giving them a retail value yeah they haven't given them a retail value anymore like they used to but yep that is the contents of the box so allegedly Eleven ninety five, seven ninety five, and two fifty. So, on paper, it is more than the price of the subscription, but for me, it is just not worth it. So, I won't be renewing my subscription based off of this. But uh, that is my little unboxing. You can let me know down below what you think. Do you subscribe to Paper Gang? Am I being too harsh? Do you think this is worth the £13 subscription? Um, do you think they've gotten a little bit too samey? When I first started getting them I loved them. There's a great, really great um, selection of different products. I've had all sorts of stationery items but just the last three months, two to three months I feel it's kind of took a bit of a dive so i would love to hear anyone else that is a paper gang subscriber if you have thought the same i'm just going to point this out because i've only just noticed it but the 2017's in copper foil it's quite nice um so yeah you can let me know down below if you like paper gang if you're disappointed with how it's been recently or what you think and that is pretty much it for me. I don't have much else to say about it. I'm trying to get caught up on my videos. I haven't posted in a few weeks. So this is probably going to come in the middle of a bunch of other videos. I've got two ugly bug unboxings to put up. And who knows how many Palm With Me videos. I wasn't going to put them up because those weeks have passed now. But then I thought to myself, it doesn't really matter what week I'm decorating in. Um, it still gives you ideas for how you want to decorate your planner, so I'll put them up anyhow. Thanks again for watching. If you're not already, please do subscribe. Hit the button down below. If you want notifications, you also need to hit the bell button now next to the subscribe button. Um, and I hope that I will see you here again soon. I try and put out new videos every two or three times a week. I don't really have a posting schedule. But I'm trying to get back on that, so I will see you all here again soon. Bye-bye.